How would you describe the last 18 months? Just a time of getting things in order. We've had uh, quite a few changes. We've changed management, new record deal, just kind of cleaning out the closets, getting ready to move on to this, this level right now. Today on the Ozone, Michael Hutchins and NXS talk about their new single, tabloid punching marriage wrecking activities on Michael Hutchins. It's amazing that NXS ever got it together to write their new album. But then remembering that Michael was married to the band long before anybody else, Elegantly Wasted shows that the band have never really been aware. How would you describe the last 18 months? Just a time of getting things in order. We've had uh, quite a few changes. We've changed management, new record deal, just kind of cleaning out the closets, getting ready to move on to this, this level right now. How do you think you're describing the album? Brilliant. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know, it's pretty fresh, I think. I think it sounds fresh. I mean, you know, a band's up to its 10th album, you know, you've had this horrible. Uh, nightmare that you're just kind of repeating yourself so to us it's really important to keep things you know fresh and valid you know and i, I think we made a record like that i think just got to a point where where one of us or a couple of us were hurting and it was just a matter of um you know you reach out to your family and in a lot of ways i guess the, the music was suffering but in the long run the music worked out to to benefit anyway because everyone got really emotional about the band again You lads get jealous about that. Maybe in the early days. Yeah, maybe in the early days when we were like, younger, it might have been a bit of a, um, yeah, a slight bit of jealousy. But now it's like, we wish we could help Michael, you know, like in that respect. Like take some of the load off him, but the press just seemed to want this guy. Michael fell into the spotlight big time when his affair with Paula Yates hit the headlines. A relationship that has since taken them to tabloid hell and for Michael even to court. In fact, press attention has been so severe that Michael had his house debugged three times. Do you think, Michael, that the celebrity at a point overtook you as a musician? Um, yeah, it does. I think it gets in the way of it all. In, in, in London, anyway. It's, uh, I don't know, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff about what you don't do, actually. It's not nothing to do with 20 years on the road and making 10 albums, you know. And for the person you're with, it's the same problem. You know, so I, I hopefully at the moment, you know, we, we've got something that they can write about, which is to do with music. Now, the videos are sexy. Are videos these days just an excuse to live a rock and roll fantasy? What's a rock and roll fantasy? It sounds like hell. Now, Michael, it has been said that you're the world's sexiest man. Really? By who? Well, Paula, actually. Funny. Is it true? Is Michael the sexiest bloke in the world, Mike? Uh, you're asking us. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, behind but me and he... Andrew, he's, he's a close thing. Does he want to be you know. the sexiest man in the world? I, I don't. Do That's you, a, Michael? I don't even want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's embarrassed! How would you describe the last 18 months? Just a time of getting things in order. I mean, we've had uh, quite a few changes. We've changed management, new record deal, just kind of cleaning out the closets, getting ready to move on to this, this level right now. 